welcome again guys welcome to another session of Shomu's biology presents animal cell culture processes and in this video we'll be talking about the contamination uh, that may result in animal cell culture process and contamination can be of two different types as you see here one is a chemical contamination second one is a biological contamination now the chemical contamination may result due to the change or presence of any bad dated chemicals that are being added or any chemicals that are being expired sometimes people uh, used to use a chemical from a particular jar not knowing what is the expiration date so that's very very important if you are uh, in a cell culture lab please look at all those chemicals and the dates that you are uh, doing with right because it's always a good idea to to completely use that uh, that particular chemical uh, before the expiration date and actually what happens uh, once you open the cap it becomes l more vulnerable to damage over time so that's the reason uh, it can happen and the chemical contamination may result in the media it can be in the incubator serum or water all these things can happen any of this can happen right now for the biological contaminants uh, the biological contamination can be brought about by bacteria and yeast you know because you know media can be contaminated with bacteria it can be contaminated with yeast yeast is a you know fungi uh, mold that can easily contaminate things viruses can contaminate uh, the cell cells because virus can attack animal cells and they can do that mycoplasma can attack them and mycoplasma contaminations are fairly common in lab with lower range of you know sterility you know you need to make all these things sterile and aseptic uh, to prevent all those different contaminants and fourth is the cross contamination by other cell culture because in lab if uh, so many different people are working with different cells and different cell cultures chances of cross contamination is more that means uh, somebody is working with a cell that has been contaminated with mycoplasma or sometimes uh, cross uh, some some a suppose a is working with cell b is uh, working with another cell the cell from a's container somehow transferred to the cells of b's container and that will uh, lead to rumble uh, inside the cell you started with uh, one type of cell and ultimately you get some more varieties of cell in your plate so if you get certain results like that you think that is probably uh, due to the cross contamination and you, you need to be very very careful about all those tiny stages of cell culture processes because it's very very fragile guys and how can we uh, control the contamination of the cell culture and you, you need to follow some good practices good lab practice for that now it starts with uh, you know it usually starts with uh, good aseptic techniques techniques uh, that have been used you know con you know autoclave processes and also uh, wash all those uh, chambers wash all those you know beakers test tubes uh, containers with with all those hyper hypochloric acid then you do the surf and also other processes then finally wash them and then uh, do the hot air steaming of them so that all the contaminants go away then uh, you can also do for you know strategic use of antibiotics are being considered sometimes but not more uh, than uh, 10 20 days because you know m prolonged use of antibiotics may develop into antibiotic resistance property of the cells that is definitely not wanted strategic use of cell respiratory is uh, re sorry cell repo repository is also important then you can also use good housekeeping uh, by everyone that's that's something that will not be you know that's something which is uh, which cannot be uh, taught by anyone else it's completely depending upon you that what you'll do understanding the nature of contamination and how to uh, bypass that is very very important uh, the it's, it's just like you know uh, the patient knowledge you need to do uh, you need to have knowledge about contaminations and all the stuff and you need to love your lab where you work because that's that's uh, the place where you work that's the place for uh, for what you do and what you are so do not contaminate it do not do some stupid thing that that can contaminate things so understanding the nature of contamination is very important and contamination monitoring program is also important uh, and weekly or you know uh, bi-weekly you need to clean all those uh, all those laboratory stops and uh, and take all those junk materials away 
and proper disposal of them are very very important for the environmental factors also so so after once once you do the all the experiment that's uh, up to a particular point but after that experiment there are cert certain more things you need to take care of and for anybody it's true right so if you do this complete task the task contamination will be less and you'll get better results over time and it will save some huge time